to light. WSCV's Christine Qualey is joining us live from our newsroom with a breakdown and reaction from family members. Yes, Tina, so there are a lot of unanswered questions here. Chandler Kubander and Reagan Anderson are both firefighters with the Liberty County Fire Department. They were both reported missing on Tuesday, and Hinesville police have been searching for them ever since. But their last known location was states away, so they could be anywhere right now. And from what we know so far, one of them could be in serious danger, and the other a serious danger to herself. The site of an everyday routine turned possible crime scene. This crunch fitness in Savannah, the gym where Chandler Kubander worked out, is the last place he was seen. After seeing the cameras from um, the mall, we could see him walk out and that Reagan at 1030 had arrived at the mall. Reagan was driving around the strip where Chandler was at, went around a couple times, parked. After a 10 minutes, she backs up and disappears from the frame again. The mall parking does not show where my son's car is during the day, so we could not see what happened between him passing the edge of the camera and where his car was located. That was on Monday. I went to the gym today and spoke with the general manager. He wasn't able to speak on camera, but he did tell me he saw Kubander come in and leave. So what happened in that parking lot? Kubander's mother, Jane, thinks it went something like this. Willingly, did he get in the car? Yes, but he got in the car because he doesn't want her to hurt herself. That is what I firmly believe. He is trying to keep her from hurting herself. And in this, now he's in a situation that he may not be able to get out of. Reagan Anderson and Chandler Kubander have a romantic history. Anderson also has a history of suicidal ideation. There are multiple reports from Hinesville police that show Kubander calling the police because Anderson made threats to kill herself. According to another police report, she was arrested on Saturday after showing up to an Olive Garden in Pooler where he was on a date, confronting him inside and then keying his car. We see the conversations that had occurred on Sunday and Monday between him and Reagan and it is it increases and intensifies and in her just saying I want to see you I want to see you I want to be with you um, I don't want to be alone I'm very scared I don't want to lose my job I'm, I'm gonna go to jail because of the incident that happened on Saturday. That arrest is what led to a welfare check at Anderson's home on Tuesday the same day Kubander's family realized she was missing. Reagan did leave a note and they had gone into her home because her door was open and they, it was a health and welfare visit. She, <clears throat> in that note, um, it, it, it aims right towards what's the next coming events where we're at. It's the note, um, which, you know, would, would raise concern with anybody reading it. Uh, regarding the, the health and well-being of, of Miss Anderson. That's when police began to search for the pair. The next stop that they're seeing from between here and where they've the last notification, they went to, they got to South Carolina where the phone pings. After that ping, um, we find that, sorry, we find that Reagan um, was pumping gas. They see it on camera, but they don't see my son. The next one is her phone pings in Col uh, Cosby, Tennessee. Co sorry, Cosby, Tennessee. Once they get to Cosby, Tennessee, um, that's where it's gone cold. It's been days since then, but Jane and her family have not stopped looking, telling me she's heading to Tennessee next to search there. She's also taken to social media in hopes of finding leads that way. No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Thousands of people have viewed Jane's TikToks as a Friday. News outlets all over Georgia reporting on the case and several true crime pages posting and talking about it as well. I came across this situation yesterday and I literally cannot stop thinking about it. This is Chandler. He's 24 years old. Hinesville police also put out a bolo for Anderson's car, notifying people the pair may be traveling in a 2017 black Ford Focus. I can't even close my eyes because I can't stop thinking about him. I just want to bring him home where he belongs. Every time I close my eyes, I hear a noise and automatically wake up. I start to dream and I'm wide awake. I would rather dream than to live this nightmare right now. 
some very heartfelt words there. Now, Kubander's mother told me that Anderson doesn't have any connections to Cosby, Tennessee, so it isn't clear why she might go there. If you have any information about where Kubander or Anderson could be, you're asked to contact the Hinesville to Police Department, and that number is on your screen. You can also find it online. So we will update you as we learn more on this case. Hinesville Police tell us that they have asked the Federal Bureau of Investigation to intervene. Christine Qualey, WSAV News 3, on your side.